Hello everybody. I hope you're enjoying your day, evening, or whatever on Friday. Um, I'm going to make some beef stew in the crock pot. So what you need is you need beef broth, onion, salt, pepper, um, carrots, I usually cut up um, potatoes and put it in there, but I'm just going to make mashed potatoes for tonight. And then you need this big chunk of meat here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and put it in my skillet, kind of fry it up a little bit. I'm going to show you how right here in a minute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stick the meat in the skillet here. Just like that. You can see that or not. And turn it on. Got any trash there. I said I'm just gonna fry the sides up a little bit. Salt and pepper. Some pepper. And salt. Do that a little bit. Like I said, all I'm doing is just frying the sides up a little bit. Back up just a little so you can see what I'm doing. Fry it up a little bit. We're sizzling. I don't know. I'm thinking about going out and take some more pictures places. Maybe I could find a some type of haunted place to take pictures. I know they had some type of uh, haunted like uh, hotel or something. I can't remember the name of it. I gotta look it up. But I'm gonna take pictures of it again this year, like I did last year. I might just stop by there this year. Let's see. Oh, my battery's about to die. No. I have to pause that for a minute. It doesn't have to be too perfect, but I just, you know, kind of get a little bit crisp a little bit on the top there. It's a big piece of meat. <laughs> Using some big ass tongs. Ah. Doesn't want to cooperate with me. Put that like this. Hold it up there steady like that. Flip it on the other side. See how I'm just lightly browning it on the sides real quick. And now I'm going to bring it over here real quick, put it in the crock pot, just like that. Perfect. See how nice and brown it is a little bit. Ooh, my camera's falling. Come on. Get in there. Okay. So now I'm going to just spread the carrots around bottom here. I'm going to put all of them in like this. You like carrots. Just spread it around evenly. Get in there. Get in there. I'm going to just take some uh, onion here, the little leaves part, just kind of throw it in here too. 
just like this. Not very cut up. What's the matter, doggy? I want that big piece of meat you got there. And I will be happy, he says. <laughs> My dog wants everything. He wants everything. Pretty soon it's going to be Halloween. Yep. My daughter's got a Halloween dance tonight, and I can't forget to, that I gotta pick her up at school. She won't be taking the bus. I cannot forget that because I'm not used to picking my kids up from school unless they're sick or I just one day feel like picking them up at school. I'm washing my hands over here. Get some of the onion juice off for my eyes start burning. Something that sucks about cutting up onion. It makes you cry. It makes you cry. Alright, now I'm gonna put some of this beef or this broth beef stuff in there. I only really need one can because like I said the meat's gonna do its own juices. I usually also put a pack of um, onion soup. I kind of make the meat more flavored, but I didn't have any. Oopsie me. I just kind of spread that out right there. Put some more salt and pepper more flavor and then that's about it and then I'll put the lid on and then I'll take probably about another five hours for this one I try to cook as many of my meals on here as I can because I like to prep my food in the morning and then do whatever I want to do at night or during the day I like to go and explore, take photos. So, but that is what I'm having for dinner tonight. Beef stew. So, when the, this is finished, I will show you. But, I'm going to go ahead and go head on out and probably take some footage of video while I'm out, blog a little bit. So, come join me. I am here at the manor, uh, Pungent, I think it's what's called. Yeah, so I'm going to see if I can record in here, but, um, it was known to be one of the scariest, uh, lounges or whatever. So I'm just going to see if I can take some footage when I'm in there. Here's the place. I'm walking up to it. Looks kind of creepy a little bit. Just looking at it. Here's the back of it. It's pretty cute. Let me show you back here. Anything spooky? <laughs> Wow, so pretty here. The water.
working, and then we used to come here. We've been coming here for years. Okay. But, I mean, this lady's got a story to tell me. <laughs> she just started working here, what, how many months ago? About two months ago. Okay, she's going to tell me her experience of this place. <laughs> I want to draw attention to one thing. We're in the most haunted portion of the um, manor. So if you pan over to that windowsill, you'll see the flies. This okay. particular room is supposed to be the most haunted besides the attic. Right. This is the... And you can see the flies at the bottom of the windowsill. See them all? Yeah. See them? And mm -hmm. they're very sluggish in this room. Look. I don't think I see that. And they're looking Ooh, all yeah, in I the see window, them. the stained glass window. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, so <laughs> this is the most haunted, supposedly the most haunted room, but right. to back up the haunting, so about <laughs> um, an hour and a half ago, um, I came in at 6 this morning, we got a, a buffet ready, and um, I'm downstairs serving the buffet, mm -hmm. everybody's done picking up their food, so mm -hmm. they're all, they've all left the room, they've emptied out the room. And I'm the only one standing right. in the portion of the room that I'm at. The mm -hmm. room is downstairs, so it is away from everybody. So I know it's supposed to be quiet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm standing there, and out of nowhere, the motion detector paper towel. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so the motion detector paper towel goes, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, just goes off. So I ignored it. Right. I'm like, I'm not going to pay attention. Maybe there's somebody in there. Right. And, you know. So about 20 minutes later, mm -hmm. 20, me and 15, 20 minutes later, it goes off again. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, the worst of mm -hmm. this was I did a buffet yesterday in the same room. Same thing. I'm in the boiler room to take all the dirty dishes into the boiler room and clean up everything. Mm -hmm. That boiler room was so quiet. There was no noise mm -hmm. in that boiler room at all. But today... There is so much noise back there, I oh couldn't take it. <laughs> Everything is banging around, and it sounded like somebody was running mm -hmm. first time, and then the second one, it sounded like somebody was banging on the pipes, like standing in that room, oh my God. banging on the pipes. <laughs> so today is my first day to say, mm -hmm. yeah, I think Henderson is haunted. <laughs> I do. I really yeah. do. So. I've heard stories about it before, you know, online and stuff, and I wanted to make sure it's true, but like, it was like when I was coming up the stairs here, you know, just even yes, alone by course. myself, I, I like felt the energy and everything, and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> when they took me on my tour, I did the mm -hmm. same thing, yeah. same exact thing. I had no problem with the mm -hmm. rest of the building, right? and they brought me up here. It's like, oh and boy. And the minute I hit the top of the stairs, yeah. you can, it changes, it's a whole mm -hmm. different aura. In, in this part of the mm -hmm. building. So I guess that's because this is the... By the way, if anybody mm -hmm. told you, if you go into the restaurant, uh -huh. there's a round area. That round section, mm -hmm. it's behind a two sets of door or a set of doors. Mm -hmm. That used to be um, a bell tower mm -hmm. or some kind of yeah. tower. And apparently that's where a previous resident, we'll call him a resident, I don't know oh, if he's really? an owner or not, but mm -hmm. a previous resident hung themselves. Oh my so, God! And it's I, it's that dining room down there, like you, extra. Right. If you okay. walk into the restaurant, okay, you'll go down the steps. Okay. And they, as soon as you go down the steps, you'll see a false wall. Right. And right next to the adjacent to the false wall are two doors. That's okay. the round room. I am gonna have to check that. Yeah, you can go in there and walk <laughs> in and and see that. So, okay. That's my little story. All right. Thank you tidbit. so no much. Problem. I won't keep Glad you and your it. lunch. No, no <laughs> thank you so all. much. I. Absolutely. Yes, I am back at home. I made it home from that place. Um, if you look at online, this place has history. Um, I actually, like I said, I interviewed that lady there. Um, she worked there. She just started like two months ago. But I don't know. <laughs> when I walked in there in that general area where she took me, where I did the interview... Um, it's like weird. As soon as I walked upstairs, I just got that sweaty feeling and just scared feeling like, I don't know, like a panic, you know, you know, there's something there. I don't know. I don't know how true this is, but 
a lot of people tell me stories all the time that there's employees talking about things moving around in certain rooms. Um, bang, like I said, that lady said banging going on. Um, close, opening closed doors shutting. And then that general room, I was going to go in there, but I didn't have time. I needed to get home because I needed to check my, uh, my dinner, which it's still going. It's not quite done yet, but anyway, and my kids will be home before you know it. And, uh, like I said, um, yeah, it was a, it's a pretty cool, interesting place. They let you go in there, um, and take pictures, um, or whatnot. They have like a little gift shop area. When I was there, I actually got me something there that was really cute it's like a model of that place I don't know if you could see it I need to make it get closer yeah it's pretty cute I had to get it it's like a 3d pop-up or something of that place it's really interesting it's so pretty in there and it's really old um, I'm not sure exactly how old this place is, but the place has history. I'm, I'm saying if you look online and look up uh, Punderson uh, Manor, um, I'll actually put the link below exactly how to spell it and stuff like that. And I'll um, also post pictures I took in when I was actually in the building, too. I took some footage of me walking. But I didn't take too much because I was already terrified, you know, up the going up the stairs on some areas. I was already scared about it. But, yeah. Um, it was an interesting place to go. I really liked it. So, it's in Ohio. Um, New, Bur New Burry, Ohio. So, if you're from Ohio or whatever, maybe you can take a little stroll up there but they are all kinds of stuff there they um let's say they had like a like a, a bridge built out to the uh, lake there that I kind of took pictures of and walked all the way down it was pretty cool looking um I think there's like a beach down there there's parks down there um you, like I said you can actually eat in there there's like a restaurant um people go in and out there you know try just to go eat there um people go in there to stay at the actual hotel and uh, i guess a couple of residents that were staying uh, would complain about things like that you know things in the building you know hearing somebody knocking on the door or just anything you know and uh like I said, there was an employee I interviewed, and she said, you know, that was her first experience that she got to capture, you know, and so, very interesting. But, um, yeah, when my beef stew gets done, I will show you and taste it. I hope it's good. It smells good. My house smells really, really good. <laughs> so, but, yeah. I will be back to take footage of that. Um, I might take footage going to pick up my daughter from school today. I just remembered I have to pick her up from school because they had a like a Halloween school dance after school. So I got to make sure I pick her up. So I got to do that. And well, maybe I'll take a footage of what she looks like. She went as a Harley Quinn today. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm on my way. I'm waiting for my son to get off the bus, and then I'm going to be on my way to pick up my daughter from school.
<laughs> There's Georgie. Yeah. We're sitting here waiting for Sissy to get in the car. It's a little early yet, but she'll be coming. Huh. I just shot right here. Yeah, he got shot, the flu shot the other day. He wasn't happy about that. Yeah. No, I wasn't happy about that. I'm sad about that. Yeah, he was sad. He not, he's got allergies. Oh. Yeah. So today's Friday, so you get a rest, huh? Yeah, but You I'm get to rest. I'm hungry today. Well, we'll, we got some food at home, so. We eat, Waiting. I will get my food myself. Yeah. Bobby. Silly bug. We, we both, we get out. No, we gotta sit here and wait for Sissy. We gotta sit here and wait. Bobby, why we just not over? Huh? She's in this building. She's in the school building. They're having a Halloween dance. Halloween dance? Yeah. Of course, I the place. Yeah, we can't, honey. Why? Because we can't. Why? I don't know, sweetie. Come, sissy. Ah, focus. Her wig is off. I didn't unlock the door. There's Sissy. Where's your wig? Huh? Um, <coughs> it. I didn't know that I could talk right now. I'm gonna go. Come it on. was falling off multiple times, so I'm like, I'm like, no, it's screw I'm taking it off. Watch it. Where's it at? Sissy's home. We gotta go. Okay, everybody, I made it home. There's yeah. Georgie Porgy yeah. again. Um, Beast Stew is done. I am turning him off. Turning it off. Look how it breaks easily. My carrots are in there. I'm going to go ahead and make me a plate. My mashed potatoes. and See how it tastes. Okay, here is my plate, and I am going to try. It looks so yes. delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's really good. Oh my God. Juicy flavors. Really good. Mmm. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and get off here, guys. <clears throat> I hope you had fun with me today. So, the vlog is done. So, my dog kick it off with my daughter. Yeah. Hit subscribe. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Give a like. Uh, yeah. Thumbs and he's going to do it too. Like. If you like this video. And turn on notifications so you can be notified every time she there posts a video. There you go. Say bye, guys. Bye.